Yeah, I wanted to make this a um, quick video on this on this microphone. I reviewed this about a couple of weeks ago, the um, Superlux E531 microphone, and it took me so long to do a result on this is because I, I took you know a lot of time trying to get this microphone to sound right. So I took my time and I did a lot of tests. Use a lot of different recording devices trying to get the best sound out of this, but I'm um, to tell you the truth, um, I could not get no sound, you know, no quality sound out of this microphone. But before I mention that, I would just like to say, right now I am shooting this with the Sony A6000, and I was looking at my um, comments and on one of my um, photo review, uh, photo comparison, and. I seen a lot of viewers wanted to see basically a video comparison or the video quality of the GH3. So, so right now I'm just letting you know that I'm a feminist on a Sony A6000, and you can check out the quality because most of my videos that I shoot, you know, with my Sony or my GH3, I don't really edit the um, color. I don't do color correction. Everything is raw, straight from the camera when I upload it. So again, you know, if you want to see how to a6000 the Sony a6000 video quality looks just watch this video because it's being and it's being filmed on auto um, most of the shots that I do with my Sony a6000 is on auto I don't do any manual settings or manual adjustments because the image look good you know out of the box so I just want to make a quick note but again you know to make this short um, yeah the thing that this thing lacks is actually um, the sensitivity. The sensitivity of this microphone is very low. I mean, it's one of the lowest microphones I have seen. I have seen, used a lot of microphones, and the sensitivity of them are pretty good, but this one, it's really bad. Um, I was in my room, and it was silent, and I was just speaking at the level that I'm speaking now, and I was about 18 inches or a foot and a half away from this microphone when I was recording and I could not hear myself speak you know I played it back on my computer with a pair of headphones and I set the volume of the computer up to max and I set the volume of the media player up to max and I still couldn't hear myself speak <laughs> and and again my room was silent you know and I was speaking at this level and I could not hear myself I was speaking at a moderate level and I could not hear my voice or my own recording and I was only like 18 inches away from this microphone and it barely picked me up. I mean, it's you know unbelievable um, how low the sensitivity is on this um, microphone. And you know, it's really a nice microphone as far as quality go. Nice built quality and you know, it looks really nice. And um... But as far as the recording goes, you know, the um, the sound quality from this microphone is it's not bad. You know, just like the box or the structures say, the sound is very natural. And it's very natural sounding and it's pretty smooth. But um, just the, uh, the gain and the sensitivity is just bad. I mean, you definitely have to use some type of, I don't know if you can, because this is a powered microphone, you know, it uses um, power. But you have to hook up some type of preamp to it just to get decent level of sound. Because if you try to use it like this and just plug it directly, you know, into your camera, um, you're not going to get decent sound out of this. Because I, I plug this into my GH3 and I set the volume at seven on my GH3, and I couldn't hear myself at all. And as I mentioned, I'm just I'm only a foot and a half away from this microphone. And I could not hear my voice. With the volume at max on my computer on playback you know so what i did i recorded it again and i i set it at volume 14 on my gh3 and that's almost as high as it goes and i could hear a bit more and when i played music music was very loud like i say it was pretty natural pretty accurate you know sounding microphone it sounds pretty transparent you know nothing special it just sounds pretty smooth but it just doesn't pick up you know the only thing this would be good for is um, loud music. If, if you know for YouTube podcasters, I would not recommend this. I can't recommend it because you can't even hear yourself speak, you know, and you pretty close to the microphone. 
So, I mean, I guess this would be good for something that's very loud. If you're recording loud music at a concert or an event, then it probably would pick up pretty well because it'd be really loud and probably pick it up at a moderate level, not even at a high level, just moderate at a concert. Because in order to get the sound on this microphone, you have to play your music really loud if you are recording music. And I was playing my music low at, at level 4, level 3, or volume 4, volume 3. And my amplifier goes up to volume 8 or 9. So I was playing it less than halfway and I could, I could barely hear my recordings and my music. But when I turn it up at like volume 4 or 4.5, four then I could hear my music better. And that sounded moderate loud. Not loud, but kind of moderate in the middle for just to pick up that level. So that's basically all, all I can say. You know, I wouldn't recommend this microphone to anybody. Um, because, like I say, it may sound decent, but the sensitivity and the level is very low. Not much gain on this, so you have to use some type of preamp. And I used everything. I used the digital recorder, and my camera, and a separate recorder with, you know, with the inputs and a preamp, and still didn't sound. So the only thing I could do is use a separate preamp with a volume or gain control on it from the microphone, and maybe it would sound better if I could... If I could hook that up to it. So I might still give it another try. But for right now, you know, I, I, I cannot recommend this. Because, like I say, it's just... It has it doesn't have much volume to it, you know. You have to speak very loud and almost be yelling for the sound to pick up on this microphone. Just with audio. So I guess the only thing this would be good for is very loud music. You know, at a concert level. Or just playing it loud to pick up, you know, the sound at a decent level. And I might, if I can, I might put some sound samples of this in my video at the end of the video if I have time. Just to show you how it sounds so you can be the judge for yourself. So, um, basically my camera is soon going to be out of um, memory. My card is going to be full, so I'm going to cut it off right now. And I'm going to leave it at that. So if I can, I will post, you know, sound, sound samples in my video to let you know how it sounds from this microphone using my GH3, okay? and that's about it so i hope this review was useful like i said it's not much much to say about this mic as far as the sound quality go no, but that's about it okay thank you and uh goodbye That's 10 out of 19. 19 is the maximum mic level. And I have it set on 10 on a GH3. And I had a microphone placed 8 inches away from the loudspeaker. And the loudspeaker is placed on a 26 inch high stand. And it is about um, 16 inches away from the wall. Now I'm going to do a sound check using the Superlux E531 track one.
Okay, this is test number two. Finger snap. And I don't know if the microphone picked up that, but um, right now, I am. Um, the snap was basically three inches away from the microphone, and now I am sitting 18 inches away from the microphone and speaking at a moderate level. So I hope the sound is picking up well on this microphone. As I mentioned before, um, this is a problem with the microphone. It has a very low sensitivity, so the gain is very low. It's hard to pick up sound. So now I'm going to get closer to the microphone to give you an idea of how this sound. Right now, I am 18 inches away, so I'm going to go in. Now, I am 11 inches away from the microphone, and you can see if my voice change, if the level of my voice change any. Now, I'm moving in closer, and now I am about five inches away from the microphone. And again, I am speaking at the same level as before and listen carefully to see if my voice change. Now I am, I would say three inches away from the microphone. And again, you can check my voice and see, does it change? And this is the end of test number two. So I hope you were able to at least hear the sound that is coming from this microphone. As I mentioned before, the um, sensitivity and the gain is very low. It's very hard for it to pick up moderate sound levels. And basically, um, for this microphone to pick up, you have to um, play at a very loud level, speak very loudly. So I hope this was a test that, that lets you know exactly how the microphone sound. It gives you an ideal a high microphone sound. Thank you very much. End of test.